Days after BJP released the list of candidates for the upcoming elections, the Congress party has released the list of 218 candidates who will contest the Karnataka Assembly elections on the 12th of May. Chief Minister Siddharamaya will contest only from Chamundeshwari, ending speculation that he could contest from Badami too. And what may seem shocking here is that to avoid controversy, MLA N.A. Harris, the Congress in fact, has decided not to announce this candidate for Shantinagar constituency in Bengaluru. But even as the Congress party is careful about quoting controversies, the BJP has accused the Congress of nepotism. BJP has questioned the Congress party for giving tickets to politicians' family members. Shrija joining us now uh, with further inputs. Shrija, to avoid any controversy, N.A. Harris would not be contesting the upcoming elections. Uh, the party playing it safe there, not wanting any controversial candidates in the list. Well, with the latest list, we understand that the Congress did not announce uh, the candidate for Shanti Nagar constituency. And this is a seat of MLA N.A. Harris who got embroiled in an entire controversy where his son, uh, uh, Nalapad Bhutri, assaulted a man. And, of course, they are playing it very safe. Also talking about uh, the names, the first list of Karnataka Assembly election, the, it comprises of at least 218 candidates. And the list includes the names of uh, Chief Minister Sudaramaya and the State Congress Chief, uh, G. Parameshwara. And also another point to be noted over here is the party is yet to take a decision as far as five seats go and that we will have to wait and watch as far as Shanti Nagar is concerned whether they will be fielding N.A. Harris or not. And so Sudaramaya will be contesting from Chamundeshwari Assembly seat and Parameshwara will be in the fray from the Kotegiri Assembly constituency. So over the last uh, couple of weeks, there's been a huge controversy as far as where Sidharamaya will be contesting from because remember, over the last two years, that is from uh, 2008 and then you also saw 2013, that was a huge luck as far as Varuna constituency is concerned. But this time around, we see that Sidharamaya is contesting. It is going to be a huge gamble and he's contesting from Chamundeshwari constituency. Absolutely. Shrija, many thanks for getting us those inputs there. Now, the problem of uh, polluted and dying lakes is not restricted to Bengaluru alone. The hill station of uh, Chikmagaluru in Karnataka is facing a similar threat. Shrija finds out how the state government has done nothing for the last five years, but now is trying to make a last-ditch effort to clean, clean these lakes in an attempt to woo voters just weeks before the state assembly elections. A hot spot among tourists, Chikmangluru is a hill station located about 244 kilometers from Bengaluru. Due to unbridled urbanization and the town's natural resources being given no attention, lakes of Chikmangluru are dying. Illi tumba samasigalide visheshwagi jalanta samasigalali niravari yojine do bhala dhoda samasya gide. Ig malnadalu karte de niravari samasya, bayel simelu karte de niravari samasya. Nami ge niravari samasya. Illi karya kita agdi dini leli, bosha bayil simel lirta kanta sahasra aru hekre, kafi sari adike matu tenggu thotogulu wanigi marawana khadu marata madan tasiti iwaga nirmana agide. The Congress at Karnataka government had five years to clean and rejuvenate Basavanahali and Kotegeri Lake. However. Attempts to clean the weed and silt infested lakes seem to have begun only recently, just weeks before the elections. Despite Karnataka government sanctioning an amount of rupees 3 crore for Basavanahali Lake and 2 crore rupees for rejuvenation of Kotayere, the lakes are still dying. And residents have no idea what all the money is being used for. Ayega keraglo tau keli dera questionu. Keraglo ike duduk anu dana nasi kerajaan bejaan duduk kote. Adre a duduk yello kote de enak kote de. Nado yuwati ko ekse perasnya agi de. Udara nge cikmulor na basen ali kerem atau kote tauhre kerem. Yeraduk ke keraya ke kote antro pe hanawan wacca madla agi de. Adre punas cetan golsuali sampurna upal agi de. Ado kandi tak goto basen ali kerem ke mur kote hatatra hanawan wacca madi dera. Kote tauhre kerem ke yeraduk kote empat lakshawan wacca madi dera. Residents have been asking their leaders for a cleaner environment, but are fed up of the empty promises. Odi rori ki vaga sariya ki kalsa sikti la, so adu beko. Na next to road sari la, 
ರೋಡ್ ಸರಿ ಇದ್ರು ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆ ರೋಡ್ ನ ಕಿತ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಸರಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಮುಂದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರುವಂತ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬಂದು ನಿರುದ್ಯೋಗಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ರೈತರ ಸಾಲ ಏನಿದೆ ರೈತರ ಸಾಲನ ಕೈಲಾದಷ್ಟು ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಅವರು ಮನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಜೆಗಳು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಗಂಡ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸುರಕ್ಷತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ All citizens want is a government that will actually address their issues and fulfill their promises. With Shrija in Chikmangluru, Shayan Sheikh from Mirror Now.